Hi and welcome back to the channel. It is no secret that Barcelona fans have been divided about Gavi starting above Frankie de Jong. In this video we will be taking a look at what both of them brings to the team and in my opinion who should start in the big games as well as only maybe for rotation. But before we do if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing for more tactical Barcelona content and I would like to ask you guys as well to please like my page on Facebook. I will have a link in the description. Let's start with what Frankie de Jong brings within the builder. Frankie de Jong has proved to be very essential in Barcelona's build-up from the back especially against big teams. As we've seen on multiple occasions in the past, when teams raise Barcelona really high, there's a very big emphasis on trying to close down central progression by marking Sergio Busquets extensively. This is where Frankie de Jong suits really perfectly by dropping next to Sergio Busquets to form a double pivot to create a 2-on-1 in these regions. This allows Barcelona to have a smooth and perfect build up from the back but also the fact that Frankie de Jong is really good at being his first defender where Barcelona could have numerical advantages elsewhere and look also to attack. And also because Frankie de Jong is really good defensive naturally. But let's take a look at when Barcelona actually gets through the build up phase. As we all know by now, Barcelona likes to build up in a 3-2-5 formation. This has been the same through all the games, 3-2-5 or 2-3-5. Frankie de Jong has often been used to drop next to the center backs in order for Barcelona to be able to have a safe build up. But of course he can also stay up high as a free aid. Of course with Frankie de Jong being so talented, he could often even drop next to Sergio Busquets in order to create a midfield 3, whereas Barcelona would have a sole free aid roaming around, often being Pedri. And that allows even the likes of Jordi Alba to go forward where Frankie de Jong would be a double pivot. But let's see what Gavi actually brings to Barcelona as well. Gavi is not your particular helper in the build-up. In fact, when him and Pedri plays together, it's actually Pedri that drops next to Sergio Busquets. But I can see that Javi wants to use Gavi, especially against teams that tend to sit back a whole lot more. So if Barca is allowed to do the first phase of build-up relatively easy, I think Javi's argument is that Frankie de Jong is not needed. Whereas Gavi is really good at doing underlapping runs where he attacks the byline trying to whoop in crosses where Frankie de Jong tends to hold on to the ball for much longer. And speaking about crosses, Gavi's crossing cannot be underestimated. We've seen last season that Xavi is relying on Gavi to whoop in some crosses and get into the byline. Him releasing the ball early creates a lot of fluidity for Barcelona in and around the 16 yard box and the 18 yard area as well. Whereas Frankie de Jong tends to hold on to the ball and breaks the rhythm and the tiki taka style that Xavi wants to implement. Whereas Gavi simply wants to get a cross in. And I know that he's been struggling in the past to get the ball away but at least he's trying. Also we've seen in the past that Gavi actually is really good at getting himself into good scoring opportunities. Which means that Xavi is thinking that Gavi actually has a higher percentage of scoring chances than Frankie de Jong actually has as well. So in my opinion, it's just a very close call as to who should start. So let's see who should start, Frankie or Gavi. So let's start with Gavi. Gavi is really good at releasing the ball which suits uh, Xavi's style of the tiki taka really well. He's really good at releasing the ball, he's good at playing in between the lines. Whereas Frankie de Jong is really good at teams who press really high, who has a good understanding of how to play out from the back as well as his dribbling which can get Barcelona out of trouble. So I think in the big games that Frankie de Jong should start where teams can press high and play really well and Gavi could start against teams that sit deep and uh, just try to protect their box. So let me know down in the comment section what do you think who should start Frankie or Gavi and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.